right guys it's coming to one of my favorite times of uh, the year which is the winter time our saltwater fishing starts slowing down so I start going fly fishing in the berg I do a lot of still water fishing that's fishing dams what I'm doing is basically talking to you about an outfit that I've used that works extremely well for this time of the year being late June beginning of July what it is is a wilderness and I'll show you the rod shortly it'll be my five weight intermediate my snow bee um, and the reason I use a snow bee fly line is it basically does surface all the way down to the bottom and I'll go through the flies and why I like the intermediate a lot of people use floating line this time of the year because the water is cold enough and the fish start feeding on the surface but personally if I had to take one outfit this is what I'd be using uh, Wilderness 200 fly reel um, I've just put a little bit of backing on just to show you um, that is light enough it's inexpensive and I tell you what value for money one of the best fly reels that we actually do in the Dower range it is absolutely brilliant brilliant and then I've got a range of flies here uh, to start off with let's start with the fly rod the wilderness fly rod 5 weight comes in a lovely hard case so it doesn't get damaged in transport just undo the whole thing Over there. Okay, it's a four piece flower rod. Um, this one here is the four piece five weight. It's lovely, it's light, it's easy to put together. Um, got decent quality guides on it. Um, absolutely phenomenal little rod. Lovely action. The fly line is my intermediate let's open this quickly it's basically an ice color there we go so that part of it would attach to the backing it's got a loop already on it there we go there's your connector loop which would attach to my backing over there on the opposite end is obviously my loop normally we'd have a braided loop but uh, all of our uh, um, snow bee fly lines now come with these little connectors already attached to it um, your tippet material would then go on here and I'd normally use about a 4x this time of the year there's a lot of big fish moving around and your 9 foot of that would actually go onto it so that's the line that I would use just put it back in this little box the reason I use an intermediate like I said in the beginning you can fish the surface as soon as you see a fish moving you can still throw to him and start retrieving very quickly um, it's 3 inches per second if I remember the 2.5 inches per second so it's a very slow sinking fly line so I can get it down to whatever depth I want it to be and a lot of times this time of the year um, you can actually see the fish moving in the shallows and you don't want something that sinks too quickly hence the intermediate um, a slower sinking fly line in June July just remember the time that I'm talking about which is very important um, those fish are moving around they're looking to spawn um, it's the start of the spawning season so there's a lot of fish moving they're very very active in the shallows um, the fly reel, like I said before, is very, very light. Uh, it's a double ticker system, easy to take your spools on and off. It's as simple as that. Uh, guys, I've had maybe 15 years and it's still going strong, nothing wrong with it. So when you buy a fly reel, look at the wilderness range, it is absolutely phenomenal. The flies, and this is the nice part about it. Um, I've been asked to choose four or five flies that I'll take fishing on any of our, our still waters, our dams this time of the year. Most probably one of my favorite would be the Fritz bugger, which is basically that little fly there. It is phenomenal. It imitates little bait fish, um, little uh, dragonflies that might be moving. Remember, this time of the year the dragonflies start 
hibernating, hiding in the reeds, um, but they still do move around when the water starts warming up. So that imitates a little fish, a little frog. It, it imitates a lot of um, little insects, creatures that might be in the water. That's why that's a very universal fly. It'll work anywhere this time of the year. It's flipping good. Uh, the Fritz bugger. A little bit of a bead egg to give it a little bit of uh, weight so it'll actually go down. Very good this time of the year, especially that brown color. You get them in four or five different variations, but brown in particular is very important this time of the year. What happens is the, the weed in the dams are all um, dying off. Brown is most probably the most prolific color that you have. When it becomes more springtime, you, the greens start working a lot better. Okay, there's my favorite fly. Second favorite fly would be this little woolly bugger with a tungsten head. I like that little bit of orange or red this time of the year. Again, it's more fish are spawning, egg color, not that I'd advocate that too much, but that little bit of brightness, just more of an attractor, gets the fish actually interested in it. It's got a little bit of blue in it as well for that blue flash. That little woolly bugger is unbelievable. A little speed cop uh, pattern is very, very nice. This again is the Hamel's Killer. It's a little minnow imitation. July, August is again, it's more minnow time of the year. You have a lot of these small little bait fish moving around. Um, like I say, the, the grass in that has died down, so there's very less, very limited area for the fish to hide so they start schooling around a lot more um, this little olive is unbelievable at this time of the year it's very very nice um, you can retrieve it very fast so you can cover a lot more water very quickly mrs simpson and this one here has the marabou tail a lot of orange in it again july um, June that time when the fish start spawning again it's more of an attractor than anything else again you can f um, fish this a lot faster cover a lot more water and again it's a lovely fly that you can use on an intermediate outfit fish it fast you can fish it lower down on the bottom near the bottom it definitely works it, it, um, it's one of those flies that attracts the trout's attention very nicely very good fly this time of the year booby again I'm fishing with an intermediate line so it's a very nice way of fishing slowly so what you do is you would throw your fly out let it sink onto the bottom the booby obviously would be floating up and you attract it um, retrieve it slowly so you give it one little twitch two little twitches it goes up down and as it's going down you just leave it it starts floating up again it's one of those flies that will attract a trout's attention and you can fish it very slowly. Very nice on an intermediate, fishing over a weed bed. Um, very, very good fly for that uh, style of fishing. There we go, guys. These are the, the tools of the trade that I would use for July, end of July, um, August period. Those are my flies. Once we start getting on later in the year and it starts warming up, I'd go more onto the olive kind of flies, olive colors. Um, especially when it comes to dragonflies and stuff like that. But for this time of the year, end of June, um, July, those are my flies.